Hi guys, so this is going to just be a quick tutorial on how you can sign up for a Quilt Machine account quickly and get going to boost your sales. So first we're going to create a company and then you're going to put in your first name as well as an email address. From there, you can also put in your phone number and password. From this piece, you'll be able to choose your industry as well as your currency. Don't worry, these are all things that you can change later on. These are just the basic starts. If you're in the States, you'll be able to choose your state that you live in and choose whether or not it's going to be tax inclusive. Again, all things that you can change later on. In this case, we are going to choose some quote machine colors. So we're going to do pink, black, and white, and then you'll be prompted to choose your logo. We're just going to drag in the Quote Machine logo and you can see that it's applied right here. Clicking through to save. Once in this place, you can choose to use the Stripe accounts or you can choose to use our own payment processor, Quote Machine Processing, which is available in the United States. You'll also be able to book a webinar with our dedicated team, potentially myself, um, to do a demo, or you can skip immediately to the dashboard. So this is going to be the Quote Machine dashboard here. As you can see, we'll have all of the quotes, invoices as well. And like I mentioned before, if you come into the account settings, this is where you'll be able to choose things such as changing the currency, adding additional currencies, and even the language. From here, you'll also be able to make choices such as the quote prefix, the initial quote number that you start on. So let's say that you don't necessarily want to start on quote number one, or you want to go to quote number 100, this is where you'll be able to come in and do that information. Same thing goes for invoices and orders as well. The currently set default for accepting a deposit for a percentage deposit is at 10, but let's say you need to take a 50% deposit on all your quotes, and let's say you don't want to take a deposit on your orders, you can very easily do so here in the account settings. Now, back in the My Account page, we're just going to quickly go through how the users, roles, and locations will work. So, for the users, as you can see here, it's just going to be myself for the moment, but you can very simply add users, and these will be the information that you have to put in, including name, email, phone number, and the role that we'll talk about next. In the role phase, right now we have two defaults set up. So, the admin roles, where all permissions are set as on, and we currently have the salesperson role where some of the roles are currently turned off, such as bypassing credit limits, deleting payments, and so forth. If you have different types of people in your organization that are going to need different permissions, you can simply create a new role and you can call it whatever you want and choose exactly which permissions they are going to have. For locations, if you're a one location company, like testing company here, you're only going to need the one. If you need to add another location on, it's pretty simple, name it, company name, enter email, street address, and so forth. In terms of fees, these are all things that you can add as you go. You can have late fees, you can have credit card fees, anything like that, all created from the fees tab. Taxes, our two defaults are sales tax at 2.9% and tax exempt. So if you need to come in here, you can very easily change the sales tax just by changing the rate. So let's say it's 2.8%, you can save that. And of course, if you have very different state taxes, you can change that as well. So for example, if you needed to put in New York, you can make that a 5.67% tax or whatever that may be. Uh, payment terms, again, defaults net 15 and net 30. Again, you can choose which is going to be your default. Let's set this one as default for now, but you can also choose net, let's say net 45, anything around these lines are all available. Finally, we'll skip on to the integrations tab. So if you already have your integration or you have a third party integration that you want to interact with Quote Machine, it's pretty simple to add these in. So as you can see here, we have many partners, Lightspeed, Shopify, Stripe, Square, QuickBooks. It's as simple as adding the integration there and then signing in to that third party service. 
We'll now switch on to importing contacts. There are a couple of ways you can do so if you already have an integration with your contacts in it. If you're importing for the very first time, you can simply insert a CVS file, or if you have an integration connected, you'll see an option to select which integrations import will be coming from. So you'll have the import available through a CVS file. In the catalog, it's going to be the same thing. So you'll have the import availability to you. You can import it through a CVS, or if you have that integration, you can simply click start new import and it will import all of those catalog items for you. So now you're all ready to use Quote Machine. You're ready to get going and starting to make some new sales. This is just the setup. I look forward to seeing you in your journey with Quote Machine.